All right. So, okay. guys, this is what we're going to do. We've got a lot to talk about this morning. We've got a stopwatch here, so it doesn't, this doesn't become really long. If we give you eight-minute videos, you're not going to pay attention to them. So we're going to keep looking at this, and we're going to try and keep it to four, four pretty little minutes, okay? So first of all, form. Okay, now, we've just filmed this video, by the way, so it's so <laughs> annoying, isn't it? Wasted 10 minutes of our yeah, life. Yeah, okay, so form. So when we started CF, what happened was that, first of all, we were so crap. We literally just came in and gave people workouts and nothing happened. Then we added the Holy Grail in and suddenly the results came wailing and everyone said, it's amazing, <laughs> Jesus walks. <laughs> okay, and the reality is, even with crap form, you can combine CF with a clean food plan and you can lose some weight. But what we found recently, like the next step for Circuit Factory is that we are missing an important piece of the puzzle and that is a close attention to technique, okay? Why, do, why is technique so paramount? Like, why is it important that we get technique in? Um, basically, because if you're doing the move correctly, you're getting your muscles working through the full range of motion, and that burns more calories, yes. quite simply. So if um, you don't do that, you, know, you, cut, you cut your results off yeah. with a stick. I would say so. Yeah. Plus, you know, if you're doing the form correctly, you're much less likely to suffer from injuries. Okay, um, so this one here, if we talk about two things, joints and muscles, joints uh, connect, connect uh, you know, bones together, muscles are what actually give those bones movement. If you put force in a joint for too long, that joint will break down. If you can put force in the muscle, it will continue to regenerate and get stronger. So you want force here, you don't want force here. You want force here, you don't want force here. Got it? Okay, so you stay safer with correct form. Anything else? Let me take over, okay? If you were, uh, if you, <laughs> such a chauvinistic bastard. Okay, if you were, um, if you're, she, she mentioned there that you limit your results. I always give this example here, is that if you move a weight plate or put a weight on your back and do a, a squat, half a squat, and then go the whole way down, the whole way up, what's gonna use more energy, okay? And take that tiny little example and extrapolate that out across a station. Now extrapolate it out across a workout. Now extrapolate out across a week of training, a challenge, a month, a year, the rest of your life. Every time you come in with crap form, you're throwing a part of your results in the gym. And form is pervasive. One thing leads on to another, leads on to another. The squat is found in 90% of the moves in CF. If your squat is anything but perfect, that means you're losing, you're losing uh, a purchase, a calorie purchase across the whole gamut of exercise in CF. Fix your form and you will hit way less plateaus. Yeah. I'm so much stronger, so, so much fitter, stronger. so much faster. Okay, few details about form that, that I think you guys should know. First of all, uh, form is habitual, meaning you, you get into the same movement patterns. We're all habitual animals. So Charlotte has got a great squat. If I say do a squat badly, she finds it difficult. She has to think on yeah. how to do it. If you do it the wrong way, it works the same way. You've got so good at doing the wrong way, that when we then correct it, yeah. it feels uncomfortable. It feels weird. So it's like when you learn to drive a car, at first it feels so odd because you've got all these things happening that you're not used to doing all at once. Yes. And then eventually it becomes yes. like a habitual pattern. You yes. don't have to think about it. So that's yeah. what we'd like our squat to be, like learning to drive a car. That's right. Where you think about it a lot at the beginning and yeah. it's like, oh God, that's lots to think about. If, you, if you've got any grandparents, if you try to tell a grandparent to change his ways, right? Don't buy the Daily Star on a Sunday afternoon. He would really struggle because he spent 60 years drilling that habit, drilling that habit into himself, okay? So what we're trying to say is that if you have bad habits, and we're telling you to correct your form, understand the road back is difficult. You must overcome that, that persistent desire to go back to old habits until the mind and body work together to open up that new neural pathway to allow your body to move in the correct way. That's what I'm trying to say. That's all I'm trying to say, guys, all right? <laughs> Don't make me go on they, about it. Do you think they got it? Yeah, I think they fucking got it. I All right. so, because that's 3.45. Okay, so 15 10 seconds. seconds. Form is about details. Okay, don't expect loads and loads of mass. It's not like we're coming in a wave of magic wand and there's one massive change, suddenly you can move. It's a tiny, it's your toes here or toes here? Knees here or knees here? Back here or back here? A good form looks amazing, but it's actually the culmination. I said the amalgam of a load of tiny yeah. little details. And then I used the word fastidious. I said, be fastidious about the details. And you have to practice. It doesn't come overnight. That's yeah. the thing. You've Just understand, be obsessed with the details of technique and understand it's not massive change. It's tiny little strokes that make a nice picture. Yeah. Um, knowledge, mobility, and strength is what under uh, determines good form. Knowledge is knowing what to do, which you learn every day in CF. Mobility is having a good, fluid movement to allow yourself to get into those positions. The last point, the last point of today and this video is strength. If you haven't got the strength to manipulate your body weight easily, when we then come in and say, but move your weight a little bit here, move your knee out, because all of your strength is taken up just trying to get the hell out of that squat or just trying to get off the floor in a press up, you can't then make those detail changes that facilitate good smooth form. Whereas if you can really squat 150 pounds easily, then when we say, but come up slowly, keep your back straight, it becomes much easier because you have strength left over to make changes during the movement. 
if you don't strength train, you should. All of the CF trainers strength train. I strength train. Uh, Body Salad is our strength training class. It's incredibly good. It's on Mondays and Tuesdays, Fridays and Saturdays. If you want to find out more about that, talk to a trainer. You should, if you're not going to do that, then just get in and learn how to do some weight somewhere along the line. That's it. What's time? 5.13. 1 minute 13 seconds too long. Have a great day, everybody. Take care. <laughs> bye.